What is he doing now? <laughs> I hear you. Got this uh, weird, I think they call it a dormitory tent or something. It's for dorm rooms um, to kind of isolate your bunk or whatever. Um, they usually, I was looking at them as like bug nets. Thought it'd be quite interesting under a tarp bug net. And then I saw they do insulated ones. I was like, well, that should be good for some winter camping as long as I've got something waterproof over the top. And I've gone bright orange so you could see it properly rather than something black under a tarp in the dark where you can't even see what's going on. So yeah, day glow. <laughs> seeing this for the first time along with you okay so yeah it's like a just a quilt really in kind of a cube shaped and we've got some poles so I'll get up the tarp first and then we can put this underneath it right just a normal 3x3 three three tarp here As you can no doubt see, pretty windy. <laughs> no foliage on these trees, this wind just comes right through this woodland. Um, so I just need to get that peg down at the back, opened up at the front, got some posts down here, some poles, and uh, have some room for this shelter under me. Finally got a bit of a windshield here now. It's really getting pulled by that wind, but uh, hopefully I'll hold up just to uh, put up the shelter underneath now, which hopefully fits under here. Um, I don't know if it's meant to rain, maybe a few specks tonight, so hopefully it fits under okay. made a bit of a barrier with some logs and sticks at the back here just in that gap. I can fill that in a bit more later if I need to. Right, I have a variety of fixings for the frame and surprisingly metal poles. Here's the actual instructions. Not quite as easy as it first looks because these ones different length to these ones because you've got cross beam things on the top. Right, I was on the last piece, and this for the other end is too long. So I'm going to have to try and cut it down. I uh, don't have a hacksaw, I'll have to check my multi-tool, see what's on that. <laughs> right, well I guess it was better to be left with a long piece rather than a short piece. I'm just looking at it, make sure I haven't done something stupid. But uh, if I get them straight on that side, I know how long I want it. We'll try this Gerber multi-tool. Well, not the neatest. I snapped off the last bit, but it uh, should work. <laughs> Looking at the images of this thing, and it looks like it actually goes around the outside of the frame, not sort of hung from the inside. 
but it says to build the frame first, so... Well, it doesn't actually say that, I just assumed that. <laughs> well, to start, I have to pray they've got the right size for this frame, because they do different sizes. And uh, they've already got one thing wrong. Right, so I assumed there was some kind of ground sheet in this, but obviously not because it's for like a bunk bed, a bed sort of thing where you've got the mattress. So this is just the, like the walls that go all the way around, and this is like the top. So uh, we'll figure that out. I do have a ground sheet with me. It fits, brilliant, right? No. <laughs> I actually had to turn it. I thought I'd got one that was taller than it was wide, but apparently I didn't, or they sent it wrong. So that long bar was correct. So I'm an idiot, or they're idiots, everyone's an idiot. So I've got no supporting bar for the roof, I'll have to use a twig or something. That is so funny. Yeah, I'll have to uh, get a twig if I can find something quite straight just to lay across the centre, stop that roof from sagging. Because I've got something to go in there as well. Bit of a random ground sheet, but uh, it'll do the trick. Yeah. This is a new toy I've got to play with. I bought it recently because a friend of mine bought it. It's by um, King Camp and it's um, basically an inflatable bed, but quite an interesting one. As we'll see, this is its first time out the bag. And uh, they do one in decathlon that's very similar looking, but in a different colour. All right, you can see the valve here. Just going to use the flex towel pump on here. Pretty interesting and you've got some straps here for the uh, mat on top. I was not aware that these were hard plastic. I thought they'd be like um, straps as well. So that's interesting. There is flex and stuff. Hmm. Seems to fit rather well. Uh, don't want to get my boots on it, but quite a little give there. But I'm not very even. Fits well. Yeah, I can survive the night in here. Right, seeing as I messed up, let's use this. Alright. Not bad, maybe a bit of an angle. Yeah. While I was buying a load of junk on AliExpress to play around with, I got a couple of lanterns as well, which actually seem quite nice. I need to get some wood together. Time's getting on. Can't tell if it's getting dark yet or if it's just uh, bad weather. <laughs> but either way, my dinner's going to take a while to cook, so I need to get going on it.
Well, this is another ash that's come down in here with all the recent wind and storms. So I might as well take a few limbs off of this. Near a farm vehicle off in that direction, probably the mic can pick it up better than I can hear. Just because the wind's died down a bit now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you can tell from my voice and stuff, but um, I've been ill the last couple of days feeling like I've got a little bit of a temperature still, which is kind of helping being out here in the cold <laughs> But um, yeah, so I'm running on empty a little bit, but uh, firewood's prepped Everything's set up, just the cooking and stuff to go now, so I'm going to get this fire going any minute after a two second rest um, because what I'm going to cook is going to take a little while. Right, I've got some wood wool and some matches. I'm not doing anything else today. <laughs> there we go. Got a bit of a brace at the back here and some smaller bits I've battened down. I thought the tarp would stop a lot of that um, wind, but there's still some getting through. Right, so I'll feed this fire a little bit and I'll um, get the Dutch oven. I'm going to do some nachos. Um, which doesn't sound like much, but I'm going to cook some kind of pulled pork. I've got some pork shoulder with me. I'm going to stick that in the Dutch oven and uh, cook that down before doing like the actual nachos themselves. Right, check out how super easy this one's going to be. Pork. Shop bought spice. Some apple juice for braising. Done. The Petromax pot rest doesn't have to be right over the fire, just enough. And there we go. I think it's starting to rain, very softly anyway. Um, I suppose I should tell you about some of this stuff. So the actual um, dorm insulated Q 
cubical thing. I think it was about 140 pounds. That was from AliExpress, as I said. And you can get like mesh ones as well. I assume you can put mesh ones within insulated ones. Now, I'm not really taking this too seriously. I don't know. It might work quite well. And if you don't have far, I mean, it doesn't weigh much, but it's quite bulky if you've sort of got far to go. I've only got from the truck at the edge of the woodland. But um, yeah, oh, I thought it was worth a go anyway, a bit of fun. So they, yeah, that was about 140 pounds. And the bed, the inflatable bed thing by King Camp, I got that on Amazon, that was 160 pounds. Saw them quite a while ago and a friend of mine got one recently and I was like, oh, well, I'll get it. We'll see what it's like. I'll do a little review video on it and stuff. Recoup some of that cost <laughs> and see if it's actually any good. Um, it's quite big, it's quite heavy, quite bulky, but um, you know, maybe it's good. <sighs> I can relax for a minute, really. The lanterns are on. I wanted to see kind of how long they'd stay on. It must be about five o'clock, quarter to five now. So we'll see how long they last. Um, they've got two different bulbs. They've got them, I forget what you call them, kind of filamenty type ones, and then the LEDs as well. So you can have different brightnesses. These ones are kind of an orange glow, which is nicer. You can definitely feel a bit of a spray in the air. Well, I can relax while that uh, pork is going. Um, I have some other stuff to prep for the dinner and I have to cook my breakfast now for tomorrow morning. You'll see why. <laughs> Well, I'm partially under the tarp now. There's not much room with this big thing under it. <laughs> I suppose I could have put it up flat. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it's just kind of spitting a little bit. I can hear a uh, pheasant going a bit mad over there. But uh, I'm relaxed now. Still got a bit of a tickle. <coughs> but um, yeah, it should be pretty cosy tonight in here quite looking forward to it actually. I'm gonna try and get some of these coals on top, get that roasting away. Ooh. I was sitting here sort of daydreaming and um, realised I was getting quite chilly. <laughs> so I'm going to have a beer. I've got to send some more beers. These ones are Bateman's Triple Hop IPA India Pale Ale, 100% American hops. So give this one a go. I like free beer. <laughs> but yeah, this should be right up my street. Oh, that's lovely. Yep, that's a good one. Where are they? Lincolnshire. Cheers, everybody. The uh, pork's well underway. It's going to take a while yet, maybe even an hour. Um, yeah, so I'll keep feeding the fire and putting some coals on top. If I need to add a little li liquid in there. before doing it like pulled pork and then building up the nachos in the um, Dutch oven there and then doing my breakfast for tomorrow <laughs> a lot of prep for that one and then I'll get to get in there which I'm really looking forward to it looks so cosy with that bed as well inflatable bed and the mat on top as well it should be pretty warm in there <laughs> Right, let's have a little look at what's going on. Ooh, caramelising up quite nice in there, but I think we're going to need a little 
more juice. Oh, she keeps cooking. Well, I've got the usual suspects here to put together a bit of a salsa for the uh, nachos. So I'm just going to do some onion, some garlic, uh, some tomatoes. I think I forgot the lime. <laughs> uh, got some coriander, cilantro, if you like, down there. And uh, yeah, I've also got some avocado, some cheese, some sour cream. All that good stuff. Here's the tomato done. Got some coriander in there. And uh, got some seasoning in there too. A nice fresh salsa. Right, just out of thought as I'm putting the um, avocado on afterwards and the uh, sour cream, I'll mix them together. A little seasoning in there. Lovely. Uh, I just caught this before the caramelization went a bit mad and uh, and it looks like it's pulling okay. So get that pulled and then we'll do the nachos. Right there's a little burnt spot from the side the fire was on but doesn't matter. We'll put in our first layer. Layer. We're going to have some cheese. Slide it a bit more. And some of that salsa. And some of that meat. kind of made its own kind of barbecue sauce and we repeat and I'm just gonna put some extra cheese on that top layer wow that's big I got a bit carried away all right we've got that on the stand get some sort of coals on top here but we're not going to do this too much. Just heat it through. Well, that will took a minute. Oh, oh, it fell off. There was a ladybird on there. Starting to see more bugs. Starting to see some of them um, bluebells poking through as well. I don't think we're past the coldest though. We'll see. A little bit of wind. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just heating through. It's a low heat, just coals and stuff really. Just get that cheese melty and everything nice. And uh, I've got way too much. <laughs> Beer number two, I've only actually got two with me. Seeing as I'm not feeling fantastic. Cheers again. Should be about done. Let's have a look. That's going to do me. Oh. oh, it's looking good. I guess I'm just going to have to grab an amount. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Barely bird dented it. It's also going to put some of that guacamole sour cream mix just here and there I can dab in it and stuff here we go can I grab a bit of that pork it's quite a big bit hmm <laughs> 
them spices and the reduced apple juice, just like a barbecue sauce. Amazingly simple. And mm. Mm. very nice. If I was doing this more properly, obviously I'd make kind of a nacho cheese sauce and stuff, but not bad. Oh my God, I'm stuffed. I'm so stuffed. Nachos can really fill you up. Don't worry, the rest won't go to waste. I'll leave it in the Dutch oven for now. Uh, no rest for the wicked though. I've got to prepare my breakfast. Shouldn't take too much effort, he says. Um, I've pre-prepared a few bits for it and um, well, you'll see in a minute. <laughs> so in the past I've made my own sausages and bacon and stuff, but today I'm gonna to make my own black pudding. This is dried pig's blood. Apparently a lot easier to be dealing with. And this is some warmed water. So I'm just gonna rehydrate that. And hopefully not get any lumps. Got a couple of things to add to this. I've got some pearl barley that I've boiled. I've got a mixture of suet and uh, kind of loin fat from pork. The spice mix, which is uh, mace, coriander, salt and pepper. I think if there was anything else. Break up these bits of fat. And now like when I did the um, haggis, I'm gonna add in oats, crushed. Until we get something quite thick. Nearly forgot the onions, finally chopped. And I think that's about done. Okay. <laughs> this is a black pudding, um, whatever you want to call it, skin. And if you can open it, it's quite big. I have put the mix in here, which I'm going to try and use a bit like a piping bag. I could have just spooned it into this really. We'll see. I need three hands, don't I? Oh, it's going in. I should have done a here's one I made earlier. Okay, so didn't exactly feel that, did I? <laughs> but I don't really know what to do here. I guess get some air out, give it a spin. And this is supposed to be for wrapping up that end, but because it's supposed to go all the way around like that. Hmm. I'm going to have to find something else to tie it off. Well, there it is, big enough for me anyway. Um, all I have to do is boil it, not quite boil, but you know, simmer and do a lot of washing up. <laughs> I need to simmer that for 45 minutes. Oh, oh it's been ages since I had any of this. <laughs> been faffing around cleaning up and kind of playing around with the fire and the pot. It's got another half hour to go on there then cool that down in some cold water or just leave it out, I don't know. Don't want the badger to eat it. But yeah, is that an insect or a burn mark on the shelf? An insect, I think. This chair keeps sinking on one side. I am slowly sinking right this second. <laughs> Softer ground. Should be about time to take the black pudding off. And the grills can do much good. I'm going 
I'll have a hot chocolate before I retreat into the tent. Chocolate time. And uh, this is the black pudding, which seems to have plumped up. No way for me to really know until the morning if that's worked. Ooh. It's a um, galaxy one this time, not the usual uh, Cadbury's. Oh, that's what you want when you've been feeling ill, all bunged up, nice hot cup of cocoa. I'm gonna have this and then I'll have a look inside there. Well I don't know if you can come in with me, we'll see. It's a bit cramped. <laughs> well, these have been on for about four and a half hours, still going strong. I'm gonna turn one off and take the other inside. Well, I'm going to get in here properly and zip it up and uh, see you guys in the morning. morning wow what a windy night <laughs> I didn't get much sleep two reasons and the wind was one of them and the noise the uh, ends of the roof flying off and uh, yeah just the worry <sighs> I suppose we should get up Oh, so yeah, got quite windy last night. Still quite windy now, <laughs> gusting up. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't attached that uh, roof, but uh, after it blew off once, I realized there was some tie-offs, but they're only kind of halfway down, so the ends come off a couple of times in the night. Um, other than that, it was just this flapping around so much, I check to see if something had come loose I didn't want everything tearing out and flying away and um, yeah just that kind of worry of trees these dead ash around me I didn't know it was gonna be that windy um, so I didn't really end up sleeping that much the other reason being I didn't find that bed very comfortable it was kind of giving in the middle a little bit I was bananaing um, yeah maybe it could be inflated more I'll have to have a play with it, like, I'm pretty sure that was pretty much full, as far as the pump was concerned, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to, uh, give that one another test. Oh, it's cold. That tent thing was warm, though, I'll give it that. There was a little bit of a breeze, because it was just so windy coming through the gaps, but that was quite nice. <laughs> um, didn't have my hat or my gloves on or anything in there. I did when I first got in there, but it must have warmed up pretty quickly. I took them off. Uh, maybe having a fever helped. I'm going to get this uh, fire going. warmth off this fire which is hard with all the wind <laughs> yeah very windy um, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing it might come in handy for certain things I don't know but um, it worked 
I guess it's similar to the insulation layer in the roof tent that I tried out recently. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll do some weird camping. I'm sure it's going to come in handy at some point. Do you know what? Black pudding's been out all night. It feels nice and firm. It looks good from the outside. Right, do a couple of uh, slices, I guess. Oh wow, would you look at that? That looks like proper black pudding. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Do a couple of quite fat slices, shall we? Partly because I don't want them to fall apart. <laughs> Get some oil heating up. Starting to spit a bit here. All right, time to give these a flip. Look at that. That's beautiful. And some eggs. And our eggs. Right, quite simple breakfast. Well, other than making it from scratch. Didn't lay the eggs. I do like a bit of ketchup with the um, black pudding, surprise, surprise, but egg yolk is close second wow it tastes like black pudding <laughs> I'm really happy with that could do with a little more salt that's just the recipe I was going by. Wow. <laughs> I've uh, got quite a lot of that dried blood. I'm going to make a few more of these. Bloody hell, they're creaking up there in the wind. <laughs> oh, nice cup of tea. <laughs> Have this and I guess I should start tidying up a bit. Before this wind gets any worse. <laughs>
Okay guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm pretty much all packed away now. Just got some water to put on the fire. Uh, yeah, all done. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Something to kind of think about insulation with tents because an insulated tent costs a fortune. So that was kind of testing it out for a fraction of the price. Although not perfect, adjustments can be made. Right, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.